Let's talk about placing text into your Corel Draw document or your diagram. Using the text tool, which you'll find here in the toolbox, you can place all of your various types of text. And we're going to talk about first, we're going to talk about artistic text. Artistic text is very much like creating an object, a rectangle or a circle. And it stands alone. It's great for titles or creating any kind of bold text explosion. And I'll show you how to do that. If you take your text tool and just click on your page, you can lay down some artistic text. I'm just typing in some text. Let's go back to the pick tool. The reason I compared it to the rectangle tool or the ellipse tool is because you can size it with the control handles or you can color it with your on-screen color palette in much the same way you would any other shape. And if I go to my shape tool, I can use the shape tool to affect the nodes, which in this case are not about the shape of the letter E, but about controlling the individual characters that are within this text. I'm just going to put those back, undo, undo. We also have kerning handles. These kerning handles do more tracking than they do kerning. Your kerning controls are elsewhere. But as you can see, if I click and drag this to the right, it increases the spacing between my characters. And indeed, if I had more than one word, it would increase the spacing between characters and words nice and evenly. And this kerning handle controls the spacing between lines of text. So that's pretty much all you have to know about laying down artistic text. You take your text tool, you click, you type, and away you go. One other thing I will give you is that if you do have a piece of artistic text selected, you have a couple of tools up here, your format text and the edit text. I like using the edit text because it takes away all of the colors and any shape that you've applied to your text and it just gives you a very simple, simple word processor-like view that you can do editing within.